hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and today's topic is about miss over versus trunk over now let us try to understand this topic by couple of examples now first let us look into the first example in here we are having an external file but the last field is missing in here i am using a data step in which i have a in file statement and i have also have input statement in which i have two variables id and name and in the in file statement the location of the file is as shown in here now let us quickly look into this particular file if you look into this particular file the first line the third line and the fourth line have the, all the appropriate fields but in the case of the second line the last field is missing now let us see what will happen if we run our code with a simple in file statement as shown in here now in the output data we can see that we have three observations or rows rather than the expected four rows in here now let us also quickly look into our log to understand this much better in the log we have something which says that sas went to a new line when input statement reached past the end of a line this is an important note and i have made a video on this link for the same i will give in the description below now let me explain you this statement in the context of our output data to do that let's go back into our file and see how sas reads each line with the help of input statement what here is happening is sas first reads this line for the variable id it reads 001 and it reads john for the variable name and writes it to the data set next input statement reads from the second line wherein it reads variable id value 002 and then tries to read the value of name variable from in here but as this is missing and it's end of the line what it does is it goes to the next line and reads from the next line and it reads to the length of whatever we have given here in our input statement and the length which is in here will be read from the next line so what it does is it reads 003 and j and then it writes to the data set and if we quickly look into the data set we will see that here we have 003 j and what happens is in the next iteration when it has to write back to the sas data set what happens is it skips here and reads from the next line that is from here it will write to the sas data set back here what we are having is we are having three observations instead of four and also we are having a wrong data in here that happens whenever we have a missing variable value at the end of the line and what it is doing is it is going to the new line to pick up the value from the new line so this is the default behavior of sas reading now we can change this either by using an option miss over in our in file statement as i am showing you here or we can use trunk over as i am showing you in here now let us first try out with miss over option and see our result and i am using the same file what we have previously used and in the result you can see that our data is clean and we do not have any value here that is our name value is missing in here and that is what we will be expecting here so what miss over has done here is whenever there was no value in any observation at the end of the line it did not go to the next line and if we see into the log also 
in the log also we will not find anything saying that sas has moved to the next line and now let us try to do the same with trunk over and after running the trunk over we find that the results of trunk over also pretty much same and in the log also we don't see anything saying that sas went to the next line and we have exactly the data where it is there in in our external file now in this context where the value was missing at the end of the line we were finding the results of miss over and trunk over are pretty much same that is they will have a missing value and they will not go to the next line when the value is missing at the end of the line in an external file now let us look into a different example and then let's try to understand miss over and trunk over little bit more now in this new file which i am calling as file2.txt let us see what do we have we have pretty much same thing what we had previously except that in the third line we have one of the variable value slightly shorter than what is expected that is we are saying that our value will be within 4 to 8 columns but here we have only two letters means we have a much shorter length than what it is really expecting now let's try to run our code with miss over option in our in file statement everything being same we are pointing to new file and then we have a miss over option now let us quickly run this code and see our result now we see we have a missing value for third observation also even though we have a value here so one of the problem with the miss over is whenever we have a value at the end of the line which is much shorter than the expected length we are going to have a missing value so miss over is not useful in this kind of scenario miss over is only good when we have a missing value it exactly records it whenever we have a shorter length value at the end of the line we are going to have a missing value with miss over and if we use trunk over in this scenario let us see what happens if we use trunk over you can see that our results are exactly same as we expect from this file even whenever we have a shorter length value at the end of the line we have the same value being captured but miss over does not do that so this is the main difference between miss over and trunk over so trunk over is a more appropriate option to use in many scenarios that's all for this topic if you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you